what you need more than God. Can't pretend I'm rocking with you even if you aren't. Can't pretend I'm rocking if you. You're not excited? I'm so excited. So we got all these metal shavings here in the valve cover we're going to put right through the new motor. See how long it lasts. Got a new valve cover gas. Put coolant in it, figure out where one wire goes, um, drain the fuel, add fresh fuel. That should be it. I remember we couldn't find where that one went. And then we always wrapped it. around. Should be a solid ripper. These things have some beefy stroke towers. Yeah, she's pissed. What'd she say? Well, that's smart when there's another car around. Well, you weren't supposed to show up. Yeah, I thought I said that. You were part of the plan. I never tried to do that before. It fucking spun quick. I think we're going to need a funnel. <laughs> Matt's getting it all cleaned out. Smells good. These gas cans. Can we have one front of it? Yeah. I got a fresh corn too. Yes, yeah, it Jim. Is. Hey, I want to get some from my snack rack. E51. Here, you want to dip it? I need some boost. <laughs> <laughs> She's peachy now. Cool. Why don't we just put a bunch of air in it? Sounds just like the rabbit. Oh, oh. kill 
Gotta tighten that AN fitting up. Oh, right here. And that's why you fucking primer up first. I don't know, what is that? Just a wrench to tighten them? That's sketchy. Try to primer again, too. She leaks again. I told you, is it coming out of that hole? <laughs> yeah. Thought so. What's that about? I don't know. Junk AN fittings. Huh. Please. Don't try this at home, boys. Rob the fuel pressure hose off the Subaru to try and get this thing running. Because it's cheap eBay AN don't hold up. Bathtub built, baby. Fuck yeah. Take three. I heard fuel. So did I. Prime it again. Ah, uh, she's leaking down there now. Where? Down at the bottom of this hose. Well, we're actually, it's leaking on the return side now, so I think you're golden. Yeah, the return side's leaking. That don't matter. I don't have to <laughs> run it anyway. It's, it was, oh, uh, is the rail leaking up here? It bled the pressure. Prime it again? It's just dripping off. It's leaking it up leaking. here. Injector's leaking. The second injector right there. Oh my. We're about ready for the first fire. Got the fire extinguisher on hand just in case because we've been chasing fuel system leaks. That's why you don't leave E85 sitting there your fuel system. For seven months. <laughs> yeah, if we would have known it was going to be this long, we probably would have drained it. You ready to fire right. her up? Let's, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, make sure you're in neutral. Go, go for it. Jump that. Is this a starter shot? Turn the key. Start. On this. So I'm thinking that the ground's fucked. I can't, and I can even get power off this, which that should be hot all the time. That wire should be hot. Okay. Again. Yeah, see this this wire should be hot. I have no hot at that starter wire. Alright, so somebody's got the battery relocated in the trunk. And uh, that main power wire goes up in here under the dash. I found the fuse box. And you can see this uh, wire here probably hard to see but that goes to our starter and there's a main 120 amp fuse in the fuse box it's blown it wasn't blown before we took the car apart but who knows we got another don't try at home uh, that 120 amp fuse there is blown so we made a little jumper wire to connect to uh, the starter wire so that's hot now she should fire up Take number 562, let's see if she fires. No power. No, jump back.
good? Yep. Die out. that's going to wrap up today's video on the Honda. Uh, we were hoping that we would be driving it a little bit more, but we're just happy to see it move out under its own power. It ran into a few issues with the fuel system that we weren't expecting. Um, so we want to get those addressed before we take it out on the street. Um, we don't want any fire hazards or anything. And then we also got to get a uh, fuse to hook up that fuse box properly because I think that blew the first time when we were taking it apart, but I don't remember. It's been months. You got anything to add, Brad? No, that's it for, for this week's episode. <laughs> yeah, so you guys can catch us Saturdays at 6 p.m. on the Rolling Times YouTube channel. And if you need any automotive repairs, hit up ZB Auto Repair. Um, if you guys are looking to buy some cool shit, four-wheelers, dirt bikes. Apex Auto. Check them out. Thanks for tuning in.